Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 18th through the 24th of September, 2022. Hope you guys had a great week. Um, I do wanna take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse and actually often do in the Libra readings, not always, but sometimes. And I am giving away a free tarot, personal tarot reading at the end of this month. If you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and drop a comment on this video. You do need to do all three to qualify, and the more times that you enter, the more times you have to win. All right, so let's get started, Libra. Spirit, can I have the energy of Libra? Libra. much. Let's try that again. Libra. got the uh the feeling okay i was just told to leave that for this person that's unusual that's never happened before um i just got the feeling that somebody in this reading is very nervous about something um yeah that's never happened before i i don't know what that is so interesting all right so, Libra, you are starting out with the sun. Now, the sun is known as the yes card. It's also known as the happiest card in the deck. It's also all, all about clarity. We have the ace of wands and the reverse and the chariot. So, Libra, I see that you have gotten very clear here about something that you're ending. Something that you no longer feel um, is desirable. Um, you... You did it one time, but it's like you've lost your desire here for whatever this is. And I feel like you are moving forward. Some of you are physically moving as well. Um, I do think that this is, you might be taking a little bit of a risk here, but you feel that it's going to bring you, um, it's going to bring prosperity of some form to you. It, it's, it's a choice that's going to bring gains. Um, yeah, it, it, you feel like it's going to help you out in some form, but you, you're also acknowledging Libra that it's a risk. So you're ending something and it, you are trying to move towards your happiness here. You're ending something so you can move towards your happiness. Yeah. All right. Let's see what this mystery is over here. All right, we have the Six of Cups reversed. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so I do think that this is someone or something from the past. Something or someone that you may have released from the past. Yeah, this is the past being released. Now, I see a decision being made here. Somebody's weighing up the pros and cons. And this has to do with, um, well, there's something to do with loyalty. This could be the mother of your children for some of you or the father of your children. Um, and I am seeing that there's something to do either with an apology or with, it could be with a child. There could be something to do with a child. It's interesting because their energy is um, very difficult to read. It's almost like this person's energy is a, almost a little hidden. 
it's it's unusual okay so i'll clarify it but it is a bit unusual i do feel like uh this person this is somebody who values their history something to do with their history like um people from their past it could be somebody that it could be somebody that you're moving towards um with regard to new love we'll clarify i don't want to jump out there otherwise your energy is very clear, very easy to read. Theirs from the beginning is just very cryptic. Um, let's look at the, it, it feels like they're, they are like, I don't feel like they're trying to deliberately hide their energy. It feels like they're very private. That's how it feels to me. All right, so let's look at the energy between the two of you. The Fool. That's a new beginning. That's somebody taking a risk. And I can see here that you're taking a risk. You feel that moving forward is going to be risky. For some of you, you're physically moving even. You're relocating. Um, but you feel that this is this is a bit risky. That you could lose some. You could lose financially. You, there's losses that could occur. But you're happy to do this. You believe it's going to bring you happiness. And this is somebody that is from your past. Somebody that either released you or you released from your past. I do feel that the person that is in your energy, they, they also would like to have this new beginning. They would like to have this risk. But I do think that they kind of dwell on things going wrong. They feel that, that, that it's like they look at the worst case scenario here. Let's see what's directly affecting this connection. Nine of Swords. And the lovers in reverse. Yeah, so this was an ending. The, the two of you did not see eye to eye. And that's what this person here, Libra, is looking at. They're looking at those memories where the two of you maybe argued. You didn't see eye to eye. Um, and they're, they're looking at the worst case scenario should they decide to take this risk with you. Now, you're very worried about ending something. And for some of you, this Ace of Wands, you're, you're holding back your passions and it's, it would have to do with this person. You're, there's a new beginning, a passionate new beginning that's trying to come in, but you're holding back your passions. And it's because you're, you're worried about it. You're worried that it won't be accepted. You're worried that... Um, that this person would just like cut you off that they're not they're not going to accept this so and it's because of the way things ended between the two of you let's look at your outcome the 10 of cups in the reverse yeah, so not very happy in the outcome, but remember this is this is at the end of the week. So it could be that this Ten of Cups is trying to come into the upright. But we'll see. We're going to clarify that. But that's a feeling of being discontent. Things not being where where you want them. Now you this person sometimes the Page of Cups is an apology. But it can also be um, it can also begin be a beginning in love. It can be contact. It could be some kind of um, like reaching out with just a, a little bit of contact. So 
bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. Now this is underlying energy. And what this tells me is that there is a real desire here to work cooperatively with this other person and to bring things together and lay a foundation. This could be um, somebody that you know through work in some form or fashion. But I do feel that both parties are acknowledging that there needs to be a foundation here. And I also feel like both parties want to work at that. So let's clarify, Libra. Why is the sun here for Libra? All right, so we have the six of coins reversed and we have the lovers. So Libra, some of you may have had a choice, either you or the other person had may have had a choice between two people. The lovers is uh, tip, it's typically a choice between two people. And you may have even been in a situation where you were giving your attention to more than one person and you've realized that you now have to make a choice, that you can't continue that. It's creating an imbalance. Now that's for some of you. For others of you, um, and it could have been this person as well, um, somebody though, but for others of you, I see that there's a situation where there's been breadcrumbing that's been going on. Somebody hasn't been giving to the connection as much as they could have. They've kind of been holding back and not really giving. Um, and now I'm seeing that there's a realization that there has to be a big decision made here with regard to love. I'm also seeing that, Libra, you're holding back from making that decision. There's, you're, you're, um, you're not, you know that there has to be this big decision made but you're holding back. You're you're trying not to participate somehow. Um, why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? It's like a reluctance that I'm seeing. Okay, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there may be something that is ending here, Libra, something you've lost your passion for in order to move forward into another commitment. And if so, Libra, this is going to bring, it, it's a faded connection. It's a, it's a connection that was meant to be. It, it's, uh, the will of fortune is fate. It's destiny. So you've got a new beginning, a faded new beginning, uh, a, a, destined, a destined beginning that's trying to come in. But I feel like for a lot of you, there's something that has to end here first. But this is destiny. It's all, it's all been lined up. It's all been designed prior to, to this. Um, let's see why the chariot is here. But I see you kind of holding back on making a decision, even though you know that you need to. And it doesn't make sense, Libra, because you realize that making this decision is what's going to bring happiness. So, all right, we have the Ace of Cups and the Moon in Reverse. You want to move forward. You're trying to move forward to your Ace of Cups. You're trying to move forward to this new love. Like I said, you're trying, you have to end a commitment. There's a commitment that is ending so that you can move into your Ace of Cups. This is destiny. I don't know why you're holding back. It, it is a big decision and for it, it looks like it's a decision for a lot of you between two people, but I see that you are 
you're going to move forward here with the chariot, you know it's risky or you feel it's risky. Some of you literally, you're, you're changing locations. You're literally moving locations. But it's going to bring you this Ace of Cups. It's, it's moving towards a new beginning in love. And I feel like whatever this is, is something that you've kind of kept to yourself. You've kept this secret and you're going to, you're going to let that out. You're going to reveal it. You've had an epiphany that you have to move this forward. You have to take this risk if you're going to have the love that, that you are destined to have. And I feel like it's, you may have kept your feelings a secret about this person or or it could have been that this was a secret love affair. But when you move forward, Libra, it's no longer going to be a secret. Whether it's your feelings have been kept secret or if this has been a secret love affair. I feel like you're moving for forwards towards your destiny here. So I don't know why you're holding back because it's going to bring happiness. Let's look at their energy, because their energy was a bit cryptic. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. It's the Fool. Now, that's between the two of you. So, I see definitely, Libra, that there's a new beginning that's trying to come in. Um, why is the Six of Cups in reverse? The Nine of Cups reversed, and the Three of Cups reversed. Oh. Well, they're disagreeable. <laughs> okay. So, they're feeling that there is no foundation here. Now, your underlying energy here is the Three of Pentacles in the upright. Theirs is in the reverse. And it, it's saying that basically this person is doing their utmost to release this connection. They're trying to let this go. Um, yeah. it It's saying that they're trying to release you. You're you're in their past. They're trying to let go. Things didn't turn out the way that they wanted, the way they had hoped. And they feel that there's no foundation here. There's nothing to build on. And they're they're kind of dwelling on things that have gone wrong. So this person is looking at the negatives that's taking place or has taken place. Even though what they want is a new beginning. I think that they're they're dwelling on the negatives because of fear. Uh and and maybe the way things went down between the two of you. Let's look at the two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here? Okay, we have the eight of wands. And again, we have the Ten of Cups reversed. So they're, this person has found, finally found balance, and or they feel that they're, they've found balance. So they're, that's why, because things went down badly between the two of you, and they've been very unhappy. Things, it didn't turn out the way they wanted. They feel as if they have no choice but to let this go. There's no foundation here. So now they're in this mode where they are not going to want to cooperate. They don't want to, to work with you on this, even though they do want this new beginning. But they're very pessimistic about it. I do see them weighing up the pros and cons of of having communication with you. Yeah, I definitely see that. They would like for things to move forward, but at the same time, they feel that if things do move forward, they're just going to be unhappy again, that it's just going to end again. So there may have been something cyclical in this connection that has led them to, to feel that if they talk with you, if they communicate with you, it's just going to lead to more unhappiness. If, you know, if there's, uh, they're making a decision here about 
talking with you or, or having anything to do with you or moving any of this forward. And they're weighing this up and down. They're, they're looking at it. I can see like um, somebody really being very weighed down by trying to make this decision. And it's almost like this person is deciding whether or not they're going to cut you out of their life entirely because they are just unhappy. They feel very unhappy with the way things are. Um, let's see why the Page of Cups is here. Yeah, so I feel like this person may be keeping very, um, very much to themselves. All right, we have the King of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Earth sign energy, that would be um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Now, this could be a divorce, and there's a child involved for some of you. But for most of you, I feel like there. this is an acknowledgement of what's taking place here. This person is willing to have this new beginning, but only if there's an ending of another commitment. So there's a commitment here that's going on with you, Libra. This person sees this commitment. This They're saying basically, I'm not dealing with this past anymore. I don't want anything third party. I... I've been unhappy. I don't even know if I want to talk to this person ever again. I'm going to do whatever it takes to release this and let this person go. And I feel like when you move forward, they look at this and they're going to be trying to determine, have you released the other party? Are you still attached to someone else? Because they are willing to have a very small beginning. Now, see, you have the Ace of Cups. So, you're like, yes, let's do this. They have the Page of Cups. So, you're, you're on different ends of the spectrum. They're willing to open up their heart a little bit. And until then, this person is focused on their money. And they're focused on their home, their, their children, if they have children. They're focused on self-care. Um, yeah, very, very much focused on their job and money, though. And I feel like they're only going to open up just a little. So, Libra, I feel like you really hurt this person. And even though they want this new beginning, I feel like they're... They're very closed. They're very closed off. Even when I pulled their energy, I could feel that. Let's see why the fool is here. I mean, they're debating if they're even going to talk to you, to be honest. Because they feel like it's just going to lead to more unhappiness. And I feel like they just feel like they can't take any more of that. Now, guys, if the energy is reversed, then just reverse the energies. But All right, so we have the Page of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's love here. I, and it says same page of cups. So I feel like you're going to approach this person and you're going to do it, Libra, you're going to do it in a very small way initially. And I do feel that they will, they will eventually respond, but I, I feel like not initially. Like it, it almost feels to me like you're going to have to physically see this person because if they have a chance to avoid you they're going to they're they're trying to free themselves from this situation 
they have had so much upset and worry. They don't even want to think about this situation. So I feel like they're going to do whatever it takes to free themselves from this situation unless you make it so that they you're like right in front of their face pretty much. And then I think that there could possibly be a a reconciliation of some sort, but it's not going to be big because this person with this page of cups, it they're only going to be opening up such a small amount and you're going to have to to bring forward something i i do feel like it's going to be um it's going to have to be face to face because this person is going to avoid you otherwise and i can see that you are wanting to move this forward so i see that they're between the two of you, there is a new beginning that's trying to come through. It's risky. You feel it's risky. They would feel it's risky. There's something to do with an apology. They may feel that you owe them an apology. Um, and I do feel like you're going to be bringing them some kind of an offer. But you're, I do see you approaching them. Realizing that you do have to approach them. And I see them trying to free themselves from this, this connection. It's like they're avoiding you, Libra. Um, so if you're not right in front of their face, I don't see them... I don't see them uh, opening up at all. Their energy is so withdrawn and so closed. Um, let's see what, what's affecting the two. You're worried about, you're worrying about um, how things ended. You're worried about the choice. You're worried about having this choice as well. Worried about making the wrong choice. Okay, so we have these seven of pentacles, ace of pentacles reversed, and the king of wands, fire sign energy, that would be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. We, we basically have just about every sign out here, though, so don't get too hung up on the signs. Again, I'm seeing that there's an ending and there's a, a new beginning that's trying to come through. You're worried very much about the both the ending, Libra, and you're worried about an ending. There, you're using a lot of patience here. There's a lot of patience that you're applying towards creating an ending of a commitment. You're very concerned about that. I'm also seeing, though, that you are wanting to invest in something that has not yet begun, and you don't know if it will, but you feel that it will be stable. It'll be a stable new beginning. Um, and I see you being worried about investing in that. But at the same time, there's the feeling that it's a faded connection. It's destiny. It's, and so I do see the desire to, to uh, invest in it. But you're being very patient about a, an ending as well. This ending could be affecting your finances, and you may be worried about finances too. Now, on their side, uh, I can see that they feel that you've made, either they have or you've made a bad choice. I feel like they feel you have because you have the lovers here and it's in the reverse here. So, they don't feel that you chose them. 
they feel that you did not choose them, Libra. They feel that you've chosen the other party. And so this could be a business owner or somebody who's in management. This is a, the King of Wands is a action oriented card. This is somebody who is, um, they're charismatic. They're used to people listening to what they say and they're used to being in charge. They're very action oriented, but this person, I feel like they're gonna communicate if you do see them face to face. They'll communicate, they'll try to take charge of the situation, and I think you're going to be very patient with them, but what they're going to say to you is, look, you ended this. You you made this decision. You didn't choose me. Yeah, you had a choice. You didn't choose me. You hurt me, and that's what I'm seeing. So, I see them taking action, though. Hmm. All right, let's look at your outcome. Yeah, their energy is very closed off, and I feel like they're going to, there's almost like a protectiveness that, that is here. Like they're protecting themselves uh, because they don't feel that you have the best of intentions towards them, Libra. And I don't think that they realize that you have feelings for them, to be honest. All right, so we have the Page of Wands. We have the Hangman in reverse. And we have the Three of Cups. So in your outcome, I see a situation where there's a lot of unhappiness. Um, now this card harkens back to this person and, because they have the 10 of cups. And so there's gonna be communication with this person. This person's going to basically, it's like, I, I feel like this person is almost guarding their energy because like I said, I don't think that this person realizes that you want a commitment with them or that you want to move towards them. It looks to me as if they feel that you chose to be with someone else and even though they wanted to be with you, it didn't happen that way and they're trying to get you out of their energy. They haven't yet, but they're trying. So, there's going to be communication. I feel like it will be face-to-face. -face. And there's a situation where there's a lot of unhappiness on both sides. You will likely be the one to initiate the conversation with the Page of Wands. It's going to be very small. It's not going to be huge. You're not going to be like you know, running up and grabbing them up or anything. But in this communication, you're going to reveal your feelings because they don't know. At which point, they're going to see things differently with a hangman in reverse. It's been a long time in coming. So I feel like you haven't talked to this person in a long time. Or maybe, it, it probably not even seen this person. So it's been a long time. This unhappiness has lasted quite a while. And you've both been unhappy. You're going to reveal your feelings. And I feel like they're checking to see, has there been an ending? Or is this third party? If there has been an ending, I see a reconciliation. So this person will be looking for an ending in the other relationship and another commitment and an apology. And I do see an apology being the precursor to this new beginning. At that point, this person's gonna, gonna be 
so happy. I, I see happiness entering into the situation and I see a reconciliation. So, wow. That's, uh, that's quite a story. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and there it is. Ace of Wands. Now, for some of you, um, there's a physical relationship that's been here. Uh, there's going to be, <laughs> there's going to be a reunion and there's going to be a physical connection that's going to occur as well, because that's a very phallic symbol that I, I see. Um, but it's not just that. I mean, there's love here, there's stability, there's passion. The only thing I don't see here is truth and clarity. We don't, that's the one ace that's missing. And so Libra, if you value this person and you want this person in your life, then that's the ace that you need to bring because they're doing everything they can to avoid you and to release you. So, all right, I'm going to pull a few Oracle cards. And let's see if anything comes out for you guys. Okay, let's see what we've got. All right, so for you, Libra, we have sometimes your heart needs more time to accept what your mind already knows. Okay. For your person, it says, I am grateful for today and blank. So fill, fill in the blanks, cross watchers. And for the relationship, it says, be so rooted in your being that nobody's absence or presence can disturb your inner peace. That's beautiful. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Libra. Um, if you're interested in the free personal tarot reading, please be sure to um, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and also drop a comment. Until I see you in the weeklies, namaste.